Hey everybody, this is Michael Smiley coming at you with another review video. Um, today I'm going to be talking about the movie Avatar. So, I have a lot of things to say about this movie. And, sorry, I'm just trying to adjust the camera. So I have a lot of things to say about this movie. Um, and I know that I'm probably going to get a lot of flack for it, but that's perfectly fine. Um, so, there's a lot of good and a lot of bad with this movie. First of all, we'll start with the bad because I like to start with the bad and then end out on a good note. So, I'm going to just say that, um... That, of course, when it comes to the special effects, they're obviously amazing. <clears throat> and James Cameron movies really don't, are not, you know, to be taken lightly when it comes to special effects and quality. Um, that's not the issue. And... Um, just to throw out here, I, you know, Sam Worthington is a really good actor, and sorry guys, it's been a long day. Um, Zoe Zaldana, uh, huge fan of hers. I love pretty much everything that she's in. Um. You know, I've, I've watched her from the time that she played in Crossroads all the way up until now. Um, I really love her in the Guardians of the Galaxy series. Um, but today we're going to be talking, obviously, about Avatar. So, Avatar... I think they got it adjusted. There we go. Um, so... And another thing, I'm a huge Sigourney Weaver fan. Sigourney Weaver, sorry. I don't know if that got out clear enough. Um, and, and I'm a fan, fan of James Cameron's James Cameron's work. And um, you know, I really, really, really did enjoy the movie. And again, that's not the problem. Um, so the special effects are amazing, you have a really great cast that you're doing your movie with and everything, and, and the special effects are literally out of this world, they're really crazy, okay, that makes up for what I'm about to say. <clears throat> so the hugest criticism that I have about this movie is that it is a complete and utter at least the first movie, is a complete and utter ripoff of Pocahontas. I have always felt that Avatar, the movie Avatar, is the live-action sci-fi version of Pocahontas, which is good. Pocahontas was a good story, but that story is not original. Um obviously. And so that really took away from the specialness of it all. For me, anyway. Um, I know that I'm going to get a lot of flack for this, but I do believe that it is one of the, the, the most overrated movies I've ever seen. And yes, I did see... The first version, and then I've seen the extended long version, or the extended version where there's like nine minutes more of the already three plus hour movie. Um, that being said, and even though it is such a live action sci fi version of Pocahontas, I really, really do. Um, I really do love the special effects, and I really do love the world 
that James Cameron created, and I, I really love the characters and everything. The only criticism that I have is the Pocahontas connection. Um, and I, I literally cannot watch the movie without thinking of Pocahontas. So, that's my only criticism, because it, it is a really good movie, otherwise. <clears throat> like I said, the, the cast is really excellent. Um, so, but I am looking forward to Avatar 2, because from what I've heard, and what I've, the articles that I've read online, about how Part 2 is supposed to be, um... It sounds way more original. It sounds like uh, it's it has more of a an original story going around it. So, I mean, that's all that the first movie would have taken to make it an excellent one of the best movies ever made, in my opinion. If it would have had a more original storyline. <clears throat> Because James Cameron does not disappoint when it comes to, to story or anything like that. Because uh, the second Terminator was amazing. Um, Aliens, the second one in the Alien franchise, was my favorite of the whole franchise. I loved, loved Titanic. I thought that that was a masterpiece. Um, and it had an excellent story. Uh, so, I am usually not ever at all disappointed with James Cameron's work, because he does excellent, and I really do think that Av Avatar had potential, but I think now that he's filming, like, three or four movies back-to-back, -back, I believe that there is definitely room for the story to progress and it seems that he always hits a bullseye when it comes to the second of a franchise so i really 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 feel in my gut that he is going to nail it with the second movie because I, I haven't seen a movie that he's done where he's ever done less than great with the second movie of a franchise. So, <clears throat> Aliens, the Terminator series, like, excellent, excellent, excellent movies. Um, and he, he makes them so great that it's hard to go back and watch the first one and think that it's a good movie anymore. Like, I really... Don't go back and watch the first Terminator movie. I always, I always watch the second one. Um, I actually really did love Genesis, but I didn't really care for the first Terminator, and I really didn't care about the third Terminator, and I didn't even watch Salvation. So there's that. Um, <clears throat> and. Uh, Aliens was far superior to the first one. So, and like I said, it's my favorite movie of the entire Aliens franchise. And so far they've done Alien, Aliens, Alien 3, Alien Resurrection. They did two Alien vs. Predator movies. And they did Prometheus. And they did, um, the, the, Coven, the Covenant, um... Aliens movie. So, yeah. The second one is still my favorite. So, hopefully, fingers crossed, James Cameron will come up with a glorious masterpiece for Avatar 2. And I really am looking forward to it because, like I said, he never disappoints with the second one. He always, always, always progresses the story in such a crazy um, epitome. Like, like he, he, he just takes it to a whole nother level that I guarantee you, 
I guarantee you, because he is so good with the second second movies of a franchise, I guarantee you that I might watch Avatar maybe once or twice more, and then probably never watch it again, uh, because I'm so sure that the second one is just going to blow the first one out of the water, because that's what he did with Aliens and Terminator, that or Terminator 2, that I, I really don't care to go back and revisit the first ones, you know, more than needed, unless I'm, like, in the mood to go back and watch them. <clears throat> so, um, but Sigourney Weaver, uh, Sam Worthington, and Zoe Zaldana, what an excellent cast, and, um, yeah, I cannot wait to see the next, well, at least the, the next one. But um, I heard that they filmed like three or four movies in a row, which is awesome. So there's not like a 10 year wait in between movies, because that's kind of crazy. But um, if you like my review, guys, um, uh, like this video and comment below and tell me what you think of Avatar and what you'd like to see in a second one. And subscribe to my channel and have a great night, everybody.